This is Andre Damon reporting for the World Socialist website in southern Louisiana. It's been over 60 days since the beginning of the BP oil spill, and during that time, there have been dozens of people who have reported getting sick from chemical exposure related to the spill. And according to some experts, that figure may rise by hundreds or even thousands in the coming period. The health impacts from this gushing oil disaster are just huge. And we're just now beginning to see the ramifications. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. When you're talking about exposure to both the oil and to the dispersants that BP has used, you're talking about people coming in contact with this stuff without the appropriate safety equipment. And they're going to have lung damage, kidney damage, liver damage, blood problems, asthma attacks, uh, genetic mutations, birth defects. These are the kind of health impacts that are associated with contact with this oil and these dispersants. A lot of the chemicals are known and suspected to cause cancer. So those are the long-term impacts. We're already 65 days into the spill. So we're moving into more a chronic or long-term exposure. One of the earliest things is that slick on the Gulf of Mexico formed an aerosol because of the heavy winds and the seas, and it blew inland way before the oil slick ever made it near the coast of Louisiana. And it made people sick. They had headaches. They had nausea. They had dizziness. They had respiratory problems, burning eyes, sore throat, runny nose. And every time the wind blew from the south, southeast or southwest, they had those symptoms. And in fact, in the Venice area was where the symptoms were first noticed. And then it started moving all the way up into New Orleans. So the entire New Orleans area was experiencing the health symptoms. Every time the wind blows from the south, all along the coast, people get sick again. They were doing a lot of burning of the heavy crude, the big clumps, by putting a fireproof boom around it and then pulling it out of the slick and then igniting it. When they first proposed that, there was a lot of objection, and we insisted that that only occur when the wind is blowing away from the coast. But with this 24-hour burn from this new crew they're bringing to the surface, it's burning no matter which way the wind is blowing. People are getting sick not just from their exposure to the oil, which is hazardous waste, which is bad enough. People are getting sick from their exposure to the dispersant that BP is using and continues to use, notwithstanding statements from BP um, every now and then that they've stopped for a while um, or that there's no need to worry about the dispersants because they apply them so far offshore that most people won't come into contact with them. That's simply not true. I know of fishermen who were out in uh, the Barataria estuary all day one day and then moored closer into shore and spent the night on their vessels and woke up in the middle of the night with planes flying over them spraying dispersant on them right there in the coastal wetlands and the dispersants themselves are absolutely toxic we know we get sprayed you know there's no two ways about it they, they call that lady uh, for the epa they call it chemical ali down here lisa chemical ali jackson they, she ain't no better than that, that guy from Iraq that sprayed all them curds and killed them, you know? They go on at night, they go on at night and they're spraying, you know, and they're trying to keep it, they're trying to keep it quiet, but, you know, everybody could see what's going on. They go in with infrared, with helicopters, and they come with planes, and then they bring outside boats that's working from uh, put all companies themselves, and they come in and spray. They make all my shrimp boats get in a designated area where they don't think they can see what's going on, but they live there all their life. They know what's going on. The workers are out there getting very, very sick. They're, they're working over the slick. They're pulling the absorbent booms in as they lean over the slick. They're getting very, very sick. In the early parts, their wives were complaining. They couldn't complain because BP had told them, if you complain, if you're sick and you complain, we're firing you. So the wives were complaining and then the husbands had to tell the wives, I'm going to get fired if you keep complaining. Working with Louisiana Environmental Action at work, we provided protective gear and respirators. Some of them took some of the respirators that Lean had provided on the boats with them, and BP said, if you use a respirator, you're fired. So these workers are being made sick day in and day out. They're not complaining because they want the job. They come in at night, they go back out the next day, are sick again. The judge ordered and BP signed that they would provide 
proper training, they would provide medical assistance, and they would provide the proper gear. Never did. The people that are most exposed, the workers and the fishermen who have taken on the cleanup jobs, are the ones that are going to be most reluctant to participate in any of that. Those workers will not admit that they're sick because they will be fired. Those workers will not go to a doctor for medical care because BP will find out and fire them. And those workers will not participate in any kind of tracking mechanism because BP will find out and fire them. This is a workplace situation. And yet, as a result of these jobs, the workers are being made sick. This is 2010. How can anybody except a workplace environment that makes workers sick 